So YouTube demonetized and then remonetized my channel, and I still don't know why. Like I said in the intro, YouTube demonetized my channel. I found out about it when I went to upload a new video. Apparently they did this on August 9th, just an hour and 20 minutes after I uploaded my latest Rings of Power video. I didn't discover it though until August 12th because I was busy and I hadn't checked my YouTube account or email. To be clear, I only received one email telling me the channel was demonetized and this similar notice listed on the earnings page in YouTube Studio. I've had this channel for 7 years. And during that time, the channel has never been demonetized. The claim listed on the earnings page was that I had some reuse content on my channel, which YouTube defines as, quote, content is not clearly an original creation of this channel and may have been repurposed from another source without adding significant original commentary, substantive modifications, or educational or entertainment value. That's absolutely insane. I've never uploaded another person's videos to this channel. Every video on this channel is something I've written, spoken, and edited using images, text, and video clips to comment on the topic. Everything I've done falls under fair use as defined by the U.S. Copyright Act of 1976 and YouTube's own guidelines. But YouTube wasn't clear on what's allegedly reused content. The notice didn't list any of the videos that allegedly contained reused content or specify the nature of the alleged reused content. So I don't know what caused them to flag my videos. Also, YouTube's explanation of what is and isn't allowed is incredibly vague and contradictory. For example, YouTube says that content creators can use clips of other people's content as part of a critical review, but also says that short videos compiled from other social media websites aren't allowed. That is very confusing. Now, the notice did offer a chance to appeal the decision, which required me to create a video showing how I make my videos and explaining where I get my ideas for videos. I really didn't know what to make of that, but fine, if that's what they needed, I'd make the video. But first, I contacted YouTube support to find out which videos were flagged so I would know what not to do in the future, and I got a whole lot of nothing. The person I initially spoke with wouldn't answer the question, or rather couldn't, because according to them, their internal policies prohibit them from sharing the specifics about demonetization to avoid partners from going around YouTube's policies. So to recap, I wanted to know which videos had been flagged as reused content, and this was YouTube's response. Their policies and procedures blocked them from telling content creators about why the creators' channels were demonetized. When I asked if that was true, we went in a circle about which videos were flagged and how this person couldn't tell me anything. Eventually, they brought in a supervisor who did the exact same thing. I don't think it's unreasonable for me or any content creator to ask which videos are allegedly reused content. If YouTube claims that I violated their policies, I think it's fair for me to ask how I did it. I don't think it's fair to frame giving that information as a way for content creators to get around YouTube's policies. No, it's a way for content creators to follow those policies. But in order to do that, we have to know what not to do. I have no idea what caused YouTube to demonetize my channel. Some people have speculated about it. Neon from Clownfish TV suggested that it might be a false flag situation. I can't rule that out. I did piss off conservatives over the last few years, but now would be a strange time to run a false flag campaign. And I'd like to think that YouTube would see the sudden spike in reporting and catch that it wasn't legit. He also suggested that someone could have uploaded my videos to their channel and then claim that I stole their stuff. But this also seems like something YouTube could catch by simply checking the upload dates. Other suggestions were that someone at YouTube didn't like a video I made. I can't rule that out either, especially after the wonkiness that happened to my channel after I reviewed the first season of The Rings of Power. Another suggestion was that all the videos I made using Ricky Gervais laughing were the problem. I don't think that's the reason because I only made about two dozen of them out of 650 videos. They're very short and I don't make them all the time. Another suggestion was that YouTube's automated system randomly flagged my channel. That's possible. YouTube's automated systems have never been that good. So this type of false positive could easily happen. And YouTube kind of acknowledged this on their page about reused content. Quote, we sometimes make mistakes during a review process. This may happen if your channel is lacking context or information about the creative value you're adding to make the content unique. Keep in mind that abusers try to blend in with legitimate channels, so if you're not adding significant original commentary, narration, or clear educational value to the repurposed content, and there's no indication anywhere of how you transformed the work, 
then the review team is lacking all of this info during the review process. Honestly, I don't understand how that could happen. If a person watches the video, they should be able to tell how the creator changed it and how they added their own commentary. The exception would be if YouTube thought the video was created using AI, which is probably the reason YouTube wanted me to make a video showing how I make videos. I have noticed an uptick of AI-generated videos over the last year, especially since the beginning of 2024. Many of those videos feature images or video clips with audio commentary, just like my videos, so I can see how an automated system could conclude that my videos are AI-generated. However, I don't know how a person could do that. I'm not exactly the most eloquent human being on the planet. My pronunciation and enunciation are all over the place. I'm code switching all the time. Even the pitch of my voice changes in a video. That's not something AI would fake. So it should be clear that there's a real person making the videos, which would be obvious to anyone who actually watched my videos. So I don't buy this statement from YouTube. Quote, Note, all removals are completed by an actual person on a review team, not a bot or algorithm. That can't be true, because when I found out my channel was demonetized, I checked to see if this had happened to anyone else, and all the YouTubers I found that it had happened to make videos featuring themselves on camera. They're literally talking to the camera in all of their videos, wearing different clothes each time, but still got flagged as reused content. I don't think a person manually reviewing their videos would fail to notice the change in outfits. So I made the video detailing how I make my videos, as YouTube requested, and I went on Twitter to complain about the channel being demonetized. And as of today, the channel is remonetized. Thanks to all those who offered support on Twitter and on YouTube. However, even though the channel is remonetized, I still don't know which videos cause YouTube to flag it and demonetize it. I asked YouTube to tell me this in my video to give me the titles and the links to the alleged reused content, but they didn't. They just sent me this boilerplate notice that I'm back in the partner program. As frustrating as the demonetization was, the bigger issue is YouTube's lack of transparency, and this is a recurring problem. I don't know what policies I supposedly broke because YouTube won't tell me. I had the same issue when someone filed a false privacy violation complaint because I roasted her in a video, and when Sony and Naughty Dog filed false copyright claims against my channel over my Last of Us videos. YouTube makes it incredibly easy to pull down content creators' videos while making it unnecessarily hard to find out why. I don't think it's too much to ask which videos were flagged, and there's no reason not to give me that information. I'm not trying to break the rules, and in order to not break them, I need to know exactly what they are. Being vague and contradictory doesn't help anyone follow the policies. Also, if YouTube is concerned about AI-generated content, which I think is a fair concern, there has to be a better way to sort it out other than having an automated system false flag random videos and channels. I'm leaning towards that being the reason for this happening because of the request that I prove that I make my own videos. They got me thinking about what could have caused this, and I remembered that YouTube recently added this new policy where creators have to check off whether they use AI content in their videos. The reason I think this might be a part of why I got demonetized is because the policy is retroactive, meaning that it's now included on all videos ever uploaded to channels, not just new videos. The problem is that most people probably aren't checking their older videos, so YouTube's automated system doesn't know whether those older videos contain AI. That might cause it to flag those videos. I can't say for certain, because YouTube won't tell me which videos got flagged. Because of that, if you have a channel, I think you should go through your videos and mark which ones do and don't use AI-generated content. For some people, that's going to be a lot of videos. But since it's not clear whether YouTube is using that as a reason to flag videos as reused content, better safe than sorry. Like I said before, as of right now, my channel is remonetized. Again, thanks to all those who offered support on YouTube and on Twitter. I don't know if it helped to change YouTube's mind, but whether it did or didn't, again, thanks for the support. That said, I also don't know if the channel will stay remonetized, and I don't know what could cause it to be demonetized again. I'm not going to change how I do anything, because I don't know what caused the problem. Maybe someone from YouTube will see this. If they do, I would still like to know which videos were flagged as allegedly reused content. Feel free to tell me anytime. I'm not going anywhere.